The golf grip can have a huge impact on how you hit high golf shots. It can have a huge impact on the quality of your short game. And in today's video, you're gonna be learning a golf grip that every single golfer on the planet should be using, especially in this scenario. I've gotta get some height. I've gotta get over a bunker. Now, I would use this grip even if I was playing a chip and run shot. And I'm gonna explain the reasons why throughout this video, so do stay tuned. But if you've never heard of it, the name of this grip is called the butterfly grip, okay? Because it goes up nice and high, lands nice and soft, like a butterfly. Now, I actually just made that up, but that's what I feel like it's gonna be doing because it's gonna be creating a really high soft flight and just lands with its soft little toes. So what we're gonna be trying to do here is making sure that the trail hands are right, for a right-handed golfer, the right hand becomes weaker, okay? So your left hand will stay very similar to normal where you could see two knuckles on your left hand. You could make it, you could probably put it a little bit further over if you wanted to, but I'm generally quite happy with two knuckles on your glove hand. But what I want to see from the trail hand is at least two knuckles, okay? So you can see from my, my right hand, you can see a lot more of the back of my hand. You can see the line between the index finger and your thumb actually pointing up towards my lead shoulder. Normally it would actually point up towards my trail shoulder. So just making sure that this right hand goes more over the club. And what that's gonna help me do, it's gonna help me stabilize the face. It's also gonna allow me to use the wrist in a better way in terms of getting the head higher during the backswing so I can hit down on the ball. The majority of golfers that I see, that I coach, generally have what I call a strong grip in the trail hand, which would be where the trail hand is more under the club, okay? So the club, the bottom of the grip is actually in the palm of the hand. And in doing so here, the only way you can actually hinge your wrist is backwards, is behind, is putting the club behind your body. So if I'm set up to this flag in the distance here, my, my strong grip, causes the club face to go in this way, two things generally happen from there. The face is closed down, so I've de-lofted the club. The face, by doing so, the face has also encouraged less bounce on the club, so I've got more leading edge in the blade, which means it's more likely to dig down into the ground, which nine times out of 10 is an absolute disaster. But also thirdly, the club now becomes too flat, so the club head is low. And if the club comes in from a shallow angle of attack into a golf ball off a chip shot, we're generally gonna create a lower flight. We're gonna create almost like draw spin where the ball would come out flatter and have a lot more roll as it comes in. So I'm not gonna try and manipulate the, the path too much. What I wanna try and make sure we do is get the grip in the correct position to encourage a stabilized club face during the golf swing and a little bit more height in the face as well. So as I'm taking this club back, I've got my right hand further over. Still got to make sure I use, still got to make sure I use my body a lot during the golf swing. And there's so much backspin. Funnily enough, by hitting that shot, it reminded me to tell you about how much more backspin you're going to get on this shot as well, because you're hitting down on the ball, you're creating so much more spin at impact. If you, as long as you've got a good golf ball and some relatively, in my case, clean grooves, you are, and with a good wedge, you're gonna get a lot of backspin. So that ball, as you saw, popped up nice and high, crazy height, it wasn't a flop shot, but plenty of height to get up and over the bunker, and it stopped super quick. So that's the one key thing I like to see from this shot. So make sure that the right hand is more over the top of your grip, and your club head now is a lot higher. You'll notice that the toe of the club is pointing up to the sky and the leading edge at a 90 degree angle sideways. And the club face is also pointing what I would look at to my left hand side. So making sure that as I'm in that position, I'm still gonna make sure you rotate the body, still make sure you turn in your core, you turn your, your hips and your chest through the swing, loads of height and loads of stop as well. Don't be scared of changing your grip for a golf shot because what it's doing is just making sure that you control the club face and keep the club face in the correct position that's going to help you during your different types of shots. If you are a golfer that holds a club quite strong, get down to the range and practice just holding it super weak. That's going to allow you to give you more control of the club face during these chip shots. I'm not saying use this grip for your driver, but we're saying use it for your short game to allow you to maximize the loft, maintain the bounce of the club, and most importantly, get the angle of attack into the golf ball strong enough that you can get locks of backspin in your shots.
just like that. Loads of backspin, loads of height, beautiful connection. Guys, give this a try. Comment down below. Have you tried it? Do you like it? And also, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the like button and subscribe as ever. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.